show. There he is. We are ready to go. The man, the myth, the legend that is Omar Kelly and our EJDconstruction.com Miami Dolphins report. There we go. We 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 just we we woke him up. We, he, he just realized, hey. I've been I've been working. I did sleep in late today. I slept till 9 30 because I my my parents have my daughter, so no early morning rise because of a 14 year old. So I, I went and slept in the guest bedroom. So my wife who gets up at 6 a.m. to go to her hospital at seven o'clock. Uh so I, I, I got I got to sleep in till 9 30 and it felt good. What's the real story? Why'd they kick you out of the bedroom? No, no. Sometimes we just we sometimes. Sometimes she's just tired of your ass and kicks you out, right? That's how, so. What it is? It's like two. I, you know what it is? I actually like to watch television at night because she works up so early. Sometimes we'll sleep in separate bedrooms. I mean, but we still get it in. Sometimes I'll sneak into the other bedroom and still get it in. I don't don't think I won't. Okay. All right. All right. I'm just saying. I mean, you know. But. It's I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where you're at right now with your relationship because they're kicking you out of the bedroom now. I mean, it's not good, bro. You know. I, you know, it, we we snuggle and cuddle, and then and then sometimes we'll we'll go to a separate bedroom too. Some some, you know. I don't. I'm a late. I, you know, to watch an NBA game like the Easter the Western Conference Finals, like she wants to sleep. Right. I, I want to watch the game. Okay. I got you. I, I, feeling I like you. you know, I hate. She says. She says. Um. She's. It's funny. She says this line to me that I absolutely hate because it feels like my parents. She goes, "Time for bed." It's like it's like you know, put somebody putting you to bedtime. It's like right. she's like ten o'clock and she's like, "Time for bed," and I'm like, "I don't want to go to bed at ten o'clock." Like that is awesome. <laughs> I love that. Um. Before I get into any any dolphins talk. Um, and I know you, you guys got to talk to him on, I am athlete on Kaepernick and he's got that workout with, uh, the Raiders. Yeah. And, uh, I, I still find this kind of a PR thing. Uh, I still kind of find it like maybe this is Mark Davis kind of maybe just wanting to be a little bit of a pain in the ass to the league. They are, they are uh, the and, Renegades. The Raiders yeah. are the Renegades. But yeah, here's the yeah, thing. Yeah, if, but, if, but, if, if but McDaniel does it. Piss off McDaniel. the NFL. Are, yeah, but, is the NFL still boycotting him? Well, here's the thing, and McDaniel doesn't want any part of this. No, I don't think that's Or he true. comes from he's not gonna want but he wanted he drafted Tebow in the first round, bro. Don't 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 claim like I know it. He, he he had to have learned his lesson already at that point, but my of the polarization of it is what I mean, actually. Not whether because Kaepernick can play way better than Tebow ever could. Let's separate the two there on the playing side. Yeah, but I think he um, likes that style. I think he no, likes no, that I, style. I, I totally understand that. But it, let's it, get it, it, it present it presents a defense as something that they also have to prepare for, which takes up practice time. But let's get let's get honest now. Let's get brutally honest. Let's talk football. Uh-huh. Let's talk real X's and O's. Omar, you've been away from the game for five years, bro. Bro, you got to be a moron of a franchise to put your franchise in those hands when a guy has not played for no. five to totally, years. Totally disagree with you, and here's why. Oh, okay. One, you could disagree with me, but that's fine. Let, let, but I think it's hear incredibly. Me out. Hold up, but let me finish. Okay. So a guy that hasn't played for five years has not prepared for any game, has not played at a high level for five years. He is not used to practicing at game speeds. He's not used to seeing game speed. This is not something that he will easily adjust to. And after being away for five years, a workout and a couple of throws is nothing compared to actually preparing for games and the way McDaniel prepares for games with the way the New England Patriots prepare for games, that it's situationally, that it changes so much from week to week, I think it becomes impossible to ask that guy to make that transition. Plus, I think any franchise that brings that guy in to make him a number two is incredibly irresponsible because you're one hit away from putting a guy that hasn't played for five years, hasn't seen a pass rush for five years in the middle of game speed in the NFL. I think it would be a tragic mistake. If you want to make him a three to make him, you know, give him a year, another year or a year and a half to kind of get acclimated to all of it. 
then maybe. But if you're going to be stupid enough to make him a number two, I think it's a, an incredibly dumb mistake by anybody that does it. Uh, the floor is yours, sir. First, I find it offensive that you refer to him as that guy. He's not that guy. He's Colin Kaepernick, and he's a hero to most, many, and including myself, for what okay. he stood for. Uh, did, second, did, did he did he stand for anything? Because he kind of hit out, hit seconds. away in the background, hit away in the background. That's what I've he did. seen him throw. I've seen him run and work out for two hours. He's a gym rat, so he's the last guy off the field, and that has been consistent since I watched him practice with Bomarito before he was drafted. Uh, arm top ten in terms of strength, velocity, throw. Now, he can't throw with touch where I haven't seen it. Part of that reason is because he doesn't have chemistry with any of these people that he's worked with. Maybe after a month of practicing with individuals where he knows where they are as a, as a wide receiver and a route runner, um, that could change. But he throws, he's like, I, I compare it to a, a, a closer who throws a 94-mile-an-hour fastball. And maybe he's got a change up, but there aren't only two pitches. There's no slider. There's no curve. There's no movement. So M yes. Mark, Mark Wallers, not that you would actually know what the hell I'm talking about. Man. No. Um, <laughs> so, so that, that's an issue. Athleticism. So I, I actually counted up and looked up every backup quarterback in the NFL. And this is for more for I am athlete. Um, I had a nice heated debate with Shady McCoy about this. Um, I looked up, counted up, added up every single athlete that's playing quarterback in the NFL right now, and there should be 96 on NFL rosters. Colin Kaepernick, this was before the rookies came in, the, the rookie class, which we all know is not a good rookie quarterback class. Right. Colin Kaepernick, I would put as the 44th best quarterback in the NFL right now. Now, uh, my whole point and argument and concern about where Colin Kaepernick is and where the NFL is in blackballing him is if you are a top 50 quarterback in the NFL, there's no excuse why you shouldn't be on, on, on an NFL roster. He has been for five years. That's fine. We know why they were blackballing him. But here's the argument that I have about, about these workouts, and I, I thank Oakland because they're the first to sort of open the door of Pandora's box and then realize there isn't the boogeyman hiding behind the closet who's going to come attack you if you work him out. Oh, by um, the way, before the chat board starts, hey, Omar, it's Vegas, okay? You said Oakland. It's Vegas, okay? okay? You said Oakland. Stop my, it. Okay? My bad, my bad. Here, right, here's so, so now that Vegas has shown you there is no boogeyman, there's nobody going to protest and pick it. Um, more teams should look at him. Teams try out guys every Tuesday. They bring in a ton of players to try them out, and they need quarterbacks to throw to these guys. Why wouldn't you just say, hey, Colin, how about you come in and throw these wide receivers in these backs and we take a look at you as well? Why wouldn't you do that? Then, on top of that, like when Tua was out with his illness last week, I can tell you, at the end of practice, these quarterbacks were on fumes, throwing 200 passes of practice. Like, because there are only three on the Dolphins roster, you need four quarterbacks for a training camp. I remember the time something happened to one of the quarterbacks, and the Dolphins had to sign Brady Quinn, who was trash. And you need, you always need a fourth quarterback, especially early in training camp. Why isn't Colin Kaepernick at least the team's fourth quarterback? You're just uh, 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 let me let me answer that for you. Hold on, let me finish, let me finish my okay. point. The, okay. the final point that I will make is, if the NFL truly, genuinely, just wants Colin Kaepernick to go away, just wants this to be over, just wants to 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 say to the world, okay, we're not, we we don't have a hatred for him. We're not blackballing him still. We did blackball him. We paid him off to go away. He's clearly not going to go away. Why wouldn't a team just sign him? Have him as the number three quarterback. Even Don't even give him fair opportunity. And then at the end of training camp, cut him and say, hey, 
We tried. He was okay. It's over. And did you wa did you watch the Josh McDaniel press conference? Yeah. I, I saw bits and pieces of it. I saw the, the Colin Kaepernick portion of it. And, did you, and they were already asking him about Derek Carr. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, but Derek Carr is an established leader. So this is yeah, what. Yeah, but, but, but dude, that, that's not the point, Omar. Josh McDaniel knows that Derek Carr is the quarterback. Yeah. You know, the uh Devontae the knows Adams that knows, knows that he's the quarterback. The Every, everybody in that no, 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 no. You have a whole bunch of idiot media members that don't look at it that way. And the first second that he has a bad throw or a mediocre game, they're gonna be calling for him no. just like they did with Tebow. No. And Tebow wasn't good enough to play, and nobody understood that that was in that Tebow camp. No. But the problem with Kaepernick is that you're going to have the polarization because of who he is and what he did. It already will come with it automatically, whether he likes it or not. He started that fire, and that fire has not been put out. And I, it's I just, not ever going to be put out, and that's why he will not be on any NFL roster. Only the Raiders will try to do that because Mark Davis will want to be indifferent from the NFL. It's not because Josh McDaniel will want this. I am I am pretty damn sure this is not a Josh McDaniel concoction because if you watch that press conference, you can tell he was a little perturbed about all of this crap in no. a way. Hell, the players didn't even know anything about the workout. They were like, I don't know anything about this. So They never me, know anything about workout. Don't, don't, don't do that. That no, no, never know anything about any work. I, I, exactly, it's, but it's, that's what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. The media you're, you're was tweeting it. The Raiders have a good backup quarterback situation. But, they but, don't. But, but you see, the part you're, you're 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 glossing over, or you're not paying attention to me is the media was asking the players like he was a part of all of this, like they knew and all that. They don't understand that the organization brings in a couple of schmucks every week. They just understand. just to work out. They no, understand. they don't know. The national media will not know that, Omar. They, they, they will yes, go they in understand with it. They understand they it. Go, they will they, go listen, in with it. Listen, it's, not, it's not that complicated. It's, no. it's really, truly not no, that complicated. I, I, I actually think you're I, not I understanding. I am the media. I'm no, the guy I, who's I, there. No, every no, day. you're not. 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 You're you're the it, hardcore football media. Lead. I'm they talking about Good Morning lead. America. I'm talking about they your local news. It, Colin Kaepernick is a two-day no, story. They don't follow your lead when they walk into that press conference. They all have their own agenda, and they take Bro, over. They follow, and they, they start follow talking our lead. About Colin protests. Kaepernick is a two-day story. If he signed, if he signed somewhere, he's a two-day story. If he starts to play well. Then he's a he's a much more complicated. Story. He'll, he'll never play well. He's a backup. Okay. Do you uh, understand that? He'll never he play realize, well every because he's a backup, backup and they won't see him. But the the media that will come in will try to stir it up. And the second your starter has any kind of just a a shakiness, doesn't matter if he's established. If you have a Tebow, if you have a Kaepernick, it becomes. So, so polarizing. Tampa Bay signs Colin Kaepernick right now. They got they got drama. If, if Tom Brady, yes, yes, no, they don't. No, they don't. That's ridiculous. You're I think naive, I think your comment. Naive, I think your comment. You're naive and as hell to believe that. Ridiculous. You're naive but, as hell to believe that, my brother. I, I I think it's ridiculous. Derek Carr is an established NFL starter. That is his team. There is no question about it. I actually don't think the Raiders are a good spot for him because I I would like Colin Kaepernick to have a legit shot. Dude, uh, uh, up until the guy that left because of the dirty emails, that guy was that guy was that guy was up in the air every moment of every day. Derek Carr. No, no. What? I, 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 what, 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 what'd you say? Did you did you just say that that Derek Carr was not on talked about as a trade option while Gruden oh, was yes. there? Oh, but, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, he, no, he was he was always he was hot, but he just got he just got re upped. And he's, I, I just told you that just this this past season, yeah. after after that guy exited, that's when Derek Carr kind of settled in, and then it's kind of been. But up until that point, he was, you know. And you bring Kaepernick in a situation these NFL like teams that. that got wandering eyes when it comes to quarterbacks. Look, look, look I, I think you're not looking at the news side of it that takes over.
not the sports of it, not the hardcore as, as somebody writer. Who, who, who's covered it on two different levels from a news side, trust me. Um, one, people people are, are have a Colin Kaepernick exhaustion. And that was five years ago. The landscape has changed. I, I think Colin Kaepernick wants a pretty bold on the end of his story. And that means finally getting an opportunity to actually compete and try to make an NFL team. Um, just so you know, there were three teams that two of them who drafted quarterbacks who contacted me privately about getting an opportunity to look at the unedited version of I Am Athlete. There are teams that are interested. There are teams that are absolutely interested and curious. They just they just worry about the media backlash. They worry about people um, protesting. That's, that's they want. They want to know. I, I just told. That's exactly what I'm okay. telling you. But that's the only that's thing a, that's stopping it, them. It, it's it, not it, the it, talent. No, but that's what I that's just. The, that's the only thing that's stopping them. It's not. What the did talent. I? What did I just tell? Point, what did I just tell you? Why he won't be on a roster, dude? My, my, and my you point can't is, have your second or third quarterback creating a stir over your first story. It's a two-day story. No, it's not. I'm the media. I create, I create the narrative. It, it, it's not it's a two-day two story. Day story I'll, give you, I, I'll give you an example. Do the Dolphins and the Raiders play this year? I think they do, right? Do uh, they? Yeah, I think they do, right? All right, so Dolphins, Raiders play that week, okay? And what storylines are coming up for Dolphins, Raiders? Nobody Kaepernick cares Kaepernick. if Colin Kaepernick's kneeling, uh, yeah. I, from my perspective. No, 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 uh, not kneeling. What else is there? I have no idea what you're talking about. I, 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 I know because you're not Cuban, so it didn't hurt you. Oh, who gives a sh Anyway, let me Ah, Oh, so you don't give a shit that he wore a Fidel Castro shirt. So I didn't you don't say that. I, 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 no, I, no, no, you just said that right now. Oh, oh, like, why is that even relevant? Oh, because you're not Cuban. That's why it's not relevant to you. Okay. So and, and technically, hey, I am. Hey, Cuban, hey, by the way, so by know. the by the way, by the way, Omar, that's my mother. My mother is half Cuban. That's so that's so a, you know. that's the biggest sign of ignorance by Kaepernick. You can't talk about injustice Bro, against I, one people. So he and wore you're a shirt six years ago as a, a, and, and if, my brother. You, my brother, that's not going to ever die. That's all oh, he's done here. No, in this, nobody but in this Miami part of the cares in this that. part of the country. Nobody but Miami cares about that. And, and well, a small well, percentage well, of well, Miami. Well, that's a storyline the Raiders are gonna have to deal with. No, if the Raiders sign Kaepernick, I promise you not one word about wear a Cuba Cuba shirt, wear a Castro oh, shirt. Oh, for sure it'll come on the Dolphins Raiders game. No guaranteed. I, guaranteed. I promise you it won't. Guaranteed. I you it won't. In other places, it, it'll a, be I, I, I promise you it won't. As somebody what, what? who actually writes the stories and knows the people who write the stories, nobody no, that's not an important narrative. Maybe well, an important it, narrative it, to it, you. It's it's not it's not important to you. You don't work you don't work for for the paper that they will tell you to write that story. That's the problem. And you're not the reporter that they would handle, that would tell you to write that story because you would not be the proper person to write that story. So they would find somebody in the paper, guaranteed. That, that's hilarious. Not, this that's is what, hilarious. This is what, this Just is what like I, I keep, don't know how you're. This is what I keep telling you. you this is what you keep overlooking that news takes over when he takes over. When Kaepernick comes to your town, the news you think, station. You think some station. news crew is going to send out a person? I promise you that won't happen. I, I guarantee. They, uh, I guarantee you. I guarantee you they will, po they will poke and prod the bear. That's that's not a storyline, Bigo. Sorry. Go ahead, Sean. That's it would a storyline for you. Wait a minute. Go ahead. It's not a storyline. Well, it's not a storyline for you, but it would be a storyline. No, it's a storyline for you. It's no, not a, it's not I'm, a, it's I'm, not I'm a for the game. It's part of what comes with him. Pigs and socks. It's come. It's stuff that comes with him. He cannot lay it down, bro. It's not. He's never okay. going to live all of that down ever. None of that. He has to stand by that stuff, and people will go after him. That's why I told you he is polarizing. You, you realize if he signed with if he signed with whatever team, you realize that he have one of the top five highest selling jerseys in the NFL, whatever team he signs with, right? And that, and that, so, the, so that's also a, that's and, also that, a and that and a cup of coffee gets you what? Uh, it's the I same no thing idea a, a Castro shirt gets me nothing. And no, no, like, no, but the Castro shirt is 
is is a whole lot of insult. So, so are we going to be writing stories about having a top selling jersey, or are we going to be writing stories about about which one are we writing stories they're about? Gonna, first? They're going to write. They're going to write about which all one of are we them. writing stories about? They're going to write about all of them, dude. Which one are we writing stories about? First? That, that's the part it's, you're not you're not letting go the polarization of it. Okay, I, and I and I don't care about the polarization part. Can he play football or not? This is what it's about. To oh, you, by the way, August, August and the clicks and, and the 20, radio ratings. It's not about that. It's August it's about 20, can he play it would football be. or not. By the way, Raiders and Dolphins August 20 at Hard Rock Stadium. So that means Kaepernick would play that game. August 20th? Because it's a preseason game. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Are, are we... Are they doing a joint practice with them? Like I, I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. But he better not take the podium that day. That's all I'm saying. Bro. He better not take the podium that you, day. You have, you have this, Kaepernick. If Kaepernick is re-signed, yeah, it's a which it's a circus. It's a circus. It's a for how many days? Circus. For how many days? All the every single day of every single moment. He's on your team. How many days? Every, are you listening to me? You're, you're Every, ridiculously insane and completely inaccurate. Okay. Well, I, I, I saw you're, it. You're, as, as, as the person who's there on a daily basis, wherever it is, if the Dolphins sign him as a number four quarterback Omar, right now. Omar, Omar, he's like that right now, and he's not on a team. No, he's not. If the Dolphins <laughs> sign Kaepernick as a number four quarterback right now, let's walk this through. Let's walk it through. Oh no, that, you don't. Not not the Dolphins. Are you crazy? Half the half the fan base hates Tua. I, I, I'm, half I'm the telling, media I'm like you I'm doesn't you, believe it. Tua. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. As a from now, you'll be writing Kaepernick to his job. You'll as be a, writing that he's taking his job in two weeks from now. Yeah, this is not a good spot. But as as a Dolphins media member who covers the team, if the Dolphins signed Colin Kaepernick as a camp arm, a practice squad quarterback, it would be at the most, and I'm saying the absolute most, a week's worth of stories. And then we move oh, on with our life. You are so naive. Until, funny. until he goes out there and performs, and let's assume he shows you that, He's a he's a baller still. It'll be the same as Tebow. He he won't play. He'll be behind the scenes. Tebow and, was a and, Tebow and, wasn't and, even a story and, in Jacksonville. And, and everybody will ask about Kaepernick. Tebow wasn't even a story in Jacksonville. Constantly, all the teammates will be asked about Kaepernick, and he's the third stringer. And and, and, like, oh, yeah, and, and nobody and nobody ever asks about a third stringer. You ask about Tua, Tua and, and they don't answer those questions either. No, no, Tua, Tua is your starting quarterback. He's a franchise quarterback. He's the number five overall pick. We, we ask about, about Tua, Tua, they don't answer those questions, so they won't answer Kaepernick. Kaepernick is Tua. just like Tebow. He would be your third stringer, and everybody would be asking about him, and he doesn't even come close to playing. But yet everybody all week long would be asking about Kaepernick. No. That's the reality, my brother. That's not. I'm there. Yeah, wow, it's you, not. No, no, you're you're not you're you're there, but you're not there. Actually, you're not really picking up on it. You're not, no. dude. Deshaun Watson wasn't on the team, and they were asking about him every day. Omar, what the I, hell are you talking about? Deshaun Who Watson got two hundred and something million dollars like, in like, the like, like, what, like, like, about what a rock do you live under, bro? Tim Tebow, they couldn't stop asking about him. Deshaun they Watson, they can't stop exactly. asking about him. Colin Kaepernick, they can't stop asking they, they about, stop asking about Dude, wake Tebow up, bro. Wake up. They don't even you, have you to do be realize on your team. That they stop talking about Tim Tebow they don't have to be crazy. on your team to ask about them. Okay. What is wrong with you, bro? The whole league had to answer Deshaun Watson questions. This team here You're had talking to about Deshaun Watson. Deshaun, Deshaun, Watson all of you guys were asking Deshaun Watson questions constantly and he wasn't on your team and when he gets on like Sean he is Watson in Cleveland Colin now Kaepernick he's polarizing the he's Sean polarizing Watson and Colin Kaepernick everybody are not the same thing it's it's all the same thing it's different it's polarizations but it is not. polarization Tebow's polarization is different than Kaepernick's and it's they, different they, than they the Sean, about but they're all polarization that right no they never stopped yeah they did no they, they did. didn't they yes, never they did. stopped they, they never stopped they asking did. Tebow questions ever. They ever. did. No, he, he didn't. Did. Become a, he wasn't a story after two weeks. No, you are wrong. It, 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 uh, what's it called? Rex Ryan had to answer questions every week about the guy until they finally released him because they were tired of the polarization, my man. Go back and look at the history. 
it, you, it, you're you're missing the history, my man. And you are naive as hell to think that that if Kaepernick comes back, he's not polarizing just like the Sean Watson or Tebow, dude. If if you're oh. worried about, I, and I I say this, and I've, I've I've always consistently said this. If you're worried about the media as an organization and scared of what the media is going to be asked about and worried about the media creating a distraction, you're just a weak-minded organization and you got no chance to begin with. It, I it, promise it, you, it, I'm it's, not that it's scary. Distractions, you, you my covered these fans, guys enough. Short. They don't want you asking about things that are irrelevant. My attention span is very short. I'm the media. I'm not the boogeyman. I get that. that. I get that. So, so, and I can tell you, my attention span is extremely short and it moves. And just like my peers, it's not that it's not that monumental of a story, Big O. Sorry. I, I, I know you think it is, but it's it's not. It's not it's not anymore. And I can tell you that because the first time people he actually spoke, people checked out. Nah. Uh, uh Omar, if it wasn't a story, he'd be in the league. No, if he wasn't being blackballed, he no, didn't. no, that's why. If it wasn't a story, he if wouldn't. He, have been and, and now he wouldn't now have been blackballed. He's if out, he's not a distraction, he wouldn't have been blackballed. Let me ask you a question: Is he part of the news cycle today? I don't think so. Yeah, so, he is. so yeah, he is. It, it he's part of the news cycle today. It had a two-day. It's, it's, news all, it's run. all over the news cycle today, right now. He had a, uh, I, I, I don't see it on the national on, on the national. Oh, well, I, I guess you're not. Did, did you not watch it on NFL Network? Like I saw it on NFL Network and I saw it on ESPN. Okay, so it's, a, so it's a three-day Go look at Pro Football Talk. It's on there. Let's put yeah, money I'm, on it. I'm, Let's I'm put not, money on it. Let's put I'm money not, on I'm, it. If, money if, on if what? They're, if they're talking about him on Tuesday, because you know, it's, uh, uh, no, and let's let's put it Wednesday because you know it's a slow news cycle. We we're gonna have nothing because no teams are gonna be participating in any activity. So they might carry it over to Ma Memorial Day weekend. Um, so. If you were talking about it on Wednesday, a week later, I got, I got 50 bucks on it. We're talking about it five years later, Omar. Well, let's put money on it. It's Wednesday. five years. You know, let's put money on it. If somebody signs him, you'll see it's polarizing. That that I would love to take your money. It'll, it'll be polarizing. Because I, I, don't, I don't know if there's another team that's stupid enough to bring him in for a workout. Like the Ra I know the Raiders are stupid why, why enough. Why are they stupid? Why are they stupid? Because it's stupid. The guy hasn't played in five Their years. Quarterbacks are trash. Why? Why would I want to bring in five they have years bad later? Quarterbacks, backup quarterback situation. I, I wouldn't bring in a guy that hasn't played in five years and is going to be polarizing. And if he's going to be my backup quarterback when I already have a franchise quarterback in Derek Carr, and then I got a whole bunch of people answering questions about a guy that's a third string quarterback. You, that makes you, no you sense. You have a loser's mentality. That's called, no, that's a distraction. They don't want that. I'm telling you. you, you and you have a loser's team. mentality. Season's no, it's not that. Season's, it's not over, matter. season's over when Derek Carr gets hurt. Okay, loser's mentality. How about the backup? My, my, my brother, you actually think Kaepernick's going to bail you out? Yeah, really? I, I, Seriously? I actually do. Seriously? Yeah, Seriously. I do. Yeah, I do. Okay, he, well. he took a team to the Super Bowl. He still got elite athleticism. He yeah, yeah. Nick Foles won the Super Bowl, my brother. So he's better. Okay. Brad Johnson won a Super Bowl. Yeah, that's a good, so that's a good, that's a good Kaepernick backup. Sucks I Brad Johnson's Kaepernick. ass. Okay. Kaepernick sucks Nick Foles' ass. He won a Super Bowl. What does that mean, bro? No, you're What does you're that right. mean? That he you're, won a Super Bowl. Trent Dilfer won a Super Bowl, dude. You're and absolutely Kaepernick right. Couldn't, Kaepernick couldn't win Nick a Foles Super Bowl that Trent Dilfer won. What does you're that mean? You're absolutely right. I okay, so, so please don't, do, don't, don't use a mediocre to average quarterback but, that rides a hell of a team to a, a plateau. But okay? I would That's sign Nick Foles before I sign Kaepernick. But for those teams like the Las Vegas Raiders who have bad quarterback situations, you better upgrade that because you're one hit away from your season being trashed because you have no quality backup. Deshaun think, Watson could be a rapist, and they're dying to give him a, a, a starting job. Kaepernick, all he did was kneel, and they're not giving him a starting job. If if they thought he was that stud, they would give him that job. Think about that. He, they, there's a guy that has like 20 accusations. He allegedly could have raped one or two or three of them, 
and yet they're lining up to give him a job and trade for him and trade everything. Meanwhile, Kaepernick, who just kneeled, will bring us some heat just like Deshaun, but they're not willing to ever give him a job. So at no point did anybody look at Kaepernick and say, my God, that's a franchise quarterback that's sitting on the sidelines. No, nobody's saying that he's a franchise quarterback. What we're saying is he deserves and that's what, And that's what I'm telling you. If he's not a franchise quarterback, why are you going to put up with all the garbage that comes with it? Because it's not garbage and it's make believe and it's in your head. And, and you have you're and you're not the team, you're not the owner, you don't have to de deal with the PR nightmare, you don't have to deal with the sponsors. What PR that you nightmare? Might I'm not the you don't man. have to deal with the expensive I'm season the ticket holders man. that you may have a couple of sweet holders and all that that say, Hey. How can you sign this guy? I don't want this. And you don't have to deal with the any of that. All you have to do Kaepernick is sit at home and write a story. Oh. It doesn't affect your world. It the affects big, the, their world. Oh, it affects my world. The big boogeyman no, is keeping Kaepernick out the NFL. Okay. And they're paying him to go away, paying him millions of dollars to go away. Cool. I get it. I mean, if he, if he, was, if he was actually as good as anybody thought he would be, then he would be playing. That, that's league. not what it's about, and and you you continue to distort it by saying that. But that's what. But that's why I'm telling does you. Does he? That, does he have? The distraction yes no. is not worth. Are the you certain he doesn't have the talent to be a top fifty quarterback in the NFL? No, no, no. I'm concerned if yes I'm yes or no. If no, you I'm, don't I'm, know I'm the answer, you, I'm answering you it. Look. I'm answering it. I'm telling you, the team is saying the distraction is not worth the talent. He's okay. not talented enough to put up with the bull crap. Right. That's the bottom line, Omar. That's the part you're not understanding. If he was talented enough, look at Deshaun Watson. He could be a rapist, and they're giving him a job. They're handing him an entire franchise. They gave him guaranteed money. This league is as ruthless as it gets. I forgot who said it, but somebody once said they'd sign Charles Manson if he could score touchdowns. And that's what this league would do. They would sign anyone that'll do anything. They don't care. So clearly Kaepernick's okay. talent does not outweigh. Nobody has fact. seen him. Nobody has seen him really work in a football setting. So they can't say that. So why would you take I, a chance after five years? <laughs> I, I've seen him work and I can tell you he's better than majority of the NFL in in shorts, dude. Running around in shorts doesn't. What, what do you think? What do you think I watch? Rush. What do you think I watch all off season? There's no pass rush. There's no nothing. What, what that, do you think I watch all off season? Off season means what do you nothing, think OTAs Omar. are? What do you think OTAs are? It means nothing until you put pads on and you start okay, hitting. Okay, so you. I'm watching nothing. When I go to mini camp uh, next week, to Tuesday, we got to reschedule our day. By the way, you're it's watching installs. Way. You're watching mental reps. Okay. You're not watching anything watching until nothing. we get the training camp in preseason when you start to hit I, some. I watch him do the same thing that I'm watching the Dolphins do once a week. So it's nothing? Yeah, it's, you're drinking You're drinking the Kool-Aid. No, you're I'm not drinking the Kool-Aid. I can oh, see no, it. You're, I can, you're I, I, it. I've done this for 50, I've done this for 20 years. I can look at a quarterback and see ability. He's still got a – I'll be conservative, conservative, top 20 arm in the NFL. Easy. Easy money, top twenty arm. Okay. Right, right now, you uh, Ar just, arm doesn't mean you're a quarterback. You're absolutely correct, and <laughs> I, I'm I'm curious to see what happens when he actually has time to digest the playbook, learn some chemistry with players, um, develop de develop some camaraderie with his team. I'm curious to see what happens five years after he's 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 been out the game. He's I'm curious. His, I want to know. His, He's in his 30s and he's a backup. He want to know. They play till the 40s. They what, play quarterbacks play till the 40. I know, but what future can he possibly have at this point? He can help a team actually. He can help a team prepare for an opponent like Lamar Jackson. Uh, he, uh, he can he, he can help when he hasn't been watching or preparing for defenses for five years. You think practice squad guys um, pre pre watch or prepare their own offense? I I, I don't want you. I don't want I don't want you know Jacoby they, do? they hold up a sheet training. of paper and say this is the play we're going to run. run. Okay, guys, run it. Yeah, That's what I, practice I, squad I, guys do. He yeah, can help the team prepare as a practice squad player. I, I, at this point, at this point, he can't be trusted with anything. He's been out of football for you, five years. You, uh, no, in, in for the, five years. Five uh, yeah. years. It's, you cannot put any responsibility on him after five years of no action whatsoever. The, the whole point is, if 
it should he should he have a tryout? Yes. Should he likely be on a fifty three uh, uh, on a training camp ninety man roster? Yes. Uh, does he have to make the team? No. But if he's if he's not tried out or teams have brought him in, they bring in guys every Tuesday to look at. Why hasn't a team that has a quarterback need just brought him in to look at him? Well, one yeah. finally did, yeah. they and, they and they realized they realized, they realized there's no boogeyman hiding in the closet ready to attack you. It's, now, now the, the question is. Is another team going to do it? And and I honestly think that there is going to be another team that does it. And I give props to them because they 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 have some conviction about hey, this is about football, not about all the 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 the, the peripheral crap that you want to talk about Castro and and pig socks and like is it about football or isn't it? If you want to hire it, a rapist, there there's there's a lot more to it unfortunately because he's brought more than football to it. Okay, and and it's. Omar, it, dude, he started the fire, bro. You don't get to cast it aside. That's I'm just telling you what the reality is. That's the reality he lives in and he will always live in. That's and, his reality, and, and Omar. Always Whether you like it or not. Just, that, like, just like Jackie Robinson was. And just like the Muhammad Ali no, no, was. No, no, actually, the difference is that Jackie Robinson actually was in the middle of the fight. Okay. He wasn't. He hid behind the scenes. That, that's a whole power. different conversation. Yeah, no, I know. I know. Yeah, you don't want to get in that one with me. No, I, I can Martin get in that Martin one. Martin Luther King actually stood up for his rights, and so did Rosa Parks. He did not. He hid like a wuss. Everybody else was uh, fighting that, his fight. That, that, that's not accurate. He wasn't at any police department after there was a shooting. You don't know he's what he nowhere. did. He's nowhere. Was he you in have, Buffalo? You have no idea. Did he, go, he, did he go to Buffalo? Did he go you to Buffalo? No is, idea is he there to fight have, the fight? You have no idea. I, 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 I know. I know. He was writing, no he was writing from his bank account something that Nike gave him to uh, give it a charity. I know he's written all that. But he's not in the fight. Jackie Robinson. the work does? Do you Jackie know the work Robinson that he does? fought the fight, bro. Do you know the work that he does? You don't. No, no. I, I, I know I don't see him anywhere. Public. He doesn't make it public. I don't see him anywhere. I don't see him anywhere. the reason that he well, doesn't that, make that, it public. That, that, hey, hey, listen. If you're going to fight for a nuclear power plant, you need to tie yourself to the fence. That, That's just the way they do it, bro. If you're going to fight no, for you your don't. cause, you're no, in the middle. You well, don't. That, that, that's no, what I'm you don't. I know. I know. You're not used to activists actually really sacrificing. Okay, right? now we're but judging, I am. I'm, now I'm, we're judging I'm actually activism. used to watching now all we're, activists and everything now sacrifice. We're, now we're we're judging his activism, right? That's yeah, oh, I, oh, 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 I judge that. Oh, hey, hey, li hey, li hey, listen. I judge when you have that, no knowledge of his. I activism. judge that coward at every level. That he does. You have zero knowledge of anything that he does. He's, he's a coward. He's a coward as an activist. And he's a coward as an athlete. Okay. Okay. You, you have if no had, knowledge. If he of had, if he he had any balls, he would have gone to the CFL like Warren Moon and prove everybody wrong. But he didn't because he doesn't have balls. I, oh, I'm not even going to entertain that ridiculous yeah, conversation. No, no, you can't. You can't battle with me on that one. I'm not even going to entertain that ridiculous conversation. You should probably play for USFL too. Tim Wake did it. Fan friendly, Mark the, the fan did it. Lo yeah. Lots of Just players. Just to prove to you that he wants to play. And they proved the NFL wrong. And they forced the NFL to take him back. I, I'm not, I'm not even, like I'm not even going to entertain that conversation because right I thought it was ridiculous when you made it a month ago. I, I know, I, I know, still think it's ridiculous now. I, I know because, and, and so do my peers, by the way. They all think it's ridiculous too. Because, because you have no argument to it. No, 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 because you, can't, you have no argument. You can't can argue. It's a ludicrous, quit. ridiculous comment. You can't argue. And, and an old, outdated viewpoint. He, he's a quitter. He's a quitter, bro. Okay. He's, he's a, quitter. a quitter. He's not. He's not a social activist. He's he's, a, he's not, not he's about a, that he's about the weakest While you have no knowledge of anything fighters. that he's doing, zero knowledge. Tell me one thing he's doing. No, I, I've read about tell all me, the. Tell me one written. thing you know he's doing. I, I've read about all the. Tell me one thing you know he's doing. Zero. Nothing. You have no Nothing. knowledge. I don't see him as an activist because anywhere. Because he doesn't want you to see him as an activist. Oh, he doesn't, oh, want, he doesn't, oh, so he doesn't he was, work he behind was, the he scenes. He and was you in, have no he, knowledge he was in of Buffalo? he does. He was in Buffalo? And and the purpose of him doing his activism behind oh, the scenes was is he in Buffalo? just to create, just to address the narrative that people like you will say that he's going to be a distraction when he, when he comes out. He said, he he said specifically, I do my work behind the scenes just so that people can't say that my work is a distraction. I know. Thank, thank God Muhammad Ali didn't do it behind the scenes, bro. Thank God. Thank God for real activism.
Thank God for real activism that so they have. They, they, so uh, only only people who have activism like Muhammad Ali. Uh, yeah, are that's that, that, that's what I'm used to, bro. I'm used to activism actually. Like, so name me activism. somebody who's done it like Muhammad Ali for the, in the last. Everybody, five years. everybody's done it that way. Nobody, Omar. No. Don't you see them all protesting? They're out in public. Those people did a lot more than Kaepernick ever did, bro. So name the people who protested in Buffalo. What do you mean the people have protested in Buffalo? They're there now, actually, after. Name, name them. You I don't said. know them personally, but there's okay. activism going on in Buffalo. No, but you right say now. there's activism and people are doing it. So, I don't know so those Colin people. Kaepernick needs I don't, to I don't know them personally. For you to feel he's an activist. But, but, but don't tell me there isn't because there are people no, there. No, now. no. Colin Kaepernick needs to go lead a march in Buffalo about, uh, about uh, police shooting. Hey, hey listen. I that, like, which I, isn't even his crusade. I, I would uh, like to see him. I would like to see him lead a, a parade drug policy, market. which isn't even his crusade. Do you know what he does to 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 for for inmates who are coming over for coming out, getting released for jail from jail? Do you know what he, anything he does? Zero. No, I don't. You, you have no yeah. knowledge of anything he does, but he's. I don't. I, I I haven't seen any activism. Yeah, though. because yeah. he doesn't want you to see it. And that's and, um, and, and he said that. He, he I know. said that. I, no, I, I get it. it. It's, not, it's not about. It's not I, about. I, I, I get it. He's not really a guy that that can confront it face to face. I get it. He kind of hides. No, he just doesn't want to be I, the distraction I, I, that you claim I, he's going to be. I, I, I understand. That, that's what he's. That's what he's about. That's what he said. I understand. He that's what he said. He doesn't want to be the distraction that you claim he's going to be. I, I, I. So you know, he does I'm, his work behind to, the scenes privately. And now, because he does his work behind the scenes privately and doesn't do it like Muhammad Ali. He's, a, he's he's not a real activist. Like, he's not like a real all, activist. Like all great activists are okay, like all in great. public. So all great activists away. have to do their work in front of the scenes. Yes. And Stevie Wonder was one of the one of the biggest activists in that period of time. Ray Charles was one of the biggest activists in that period of time. Most of their work was done behind the scenes. And those are, and, but, those are, those are blind men, Omar. <laughs> And it was oh, done. Blind men. They have it to. Was they, they were activists. They have to do things a little, a little differently, Omar. It, it they're, was they're, they're not going to lead marches, too. Omar. They can't find their way for a march. They won't be able to find the tree. They, they got to tie themselves to Omar. Once Stevie Wonder can see, blind so he can find people, his way Omar. You're comparing a blind activist to a. Listen, a, a I'm just giving you an example of people who activists. Not not everybody who is an activist does their work in front of the cameras or needs to be a uh, 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 Al Sharpton or a uh, Jesse Jackson. The, Colin Kaepernick has done this work behind the scenes for years. Did it before he started kneeling. He's going to continue to do his activism work behind the scenes. That's not that that that's not the tension is not what moves him. So, I I, I don't get your point there. Everybody, every activist isn't Muhammad Ali. I know, I know. It's uh, the attention never helps. Yeah, that's not really what you want to do in activism. Be out in public to stir attention. No, that's not really what you want to do when you do a million man march. Not not everybody. Well, you wants, you don't you don't attention. you don't want to you don't want to do that. No, of course not. Roe versus not, not Wade. everybody you wants. You don't want to you don't want to stand up and and create a commotion. No, of course not. That's not what you really want. The, okay. the, uh, is the commotion okay. healthy? Is yeah. the commotion healthy? Yeah. No. Hell I yeah, it is. I don't agree because then people like you will come out and say, "Oh, he's there's going to be a distraction wherever he goes because look at uh, on Tuesdays he's he's pro." Hey, he's, he's, it's he's gonna matter whether you're you're, you're you you've got to separate whether I agree or disagree with something or the reality of you being a distraction, whether okay. you're Tim Tebow. He, whether he's you're, done you're his work behind Watson the scenes or whether for you're five years Kaepernick, to prove to you're people a distraction. that my work is not a distraction from me playing the game, but or or I, my my the things I'm passionate about doesn't take away from my love for football or my desire to continue to play. But people like you want to continue to bring it up. It's a distraction. It's not, it, uh, it's, it's not whether I want to bring it up or not, whether I like it or not. Kaepernick is going to be a distraction just like Tebow and Watson. They are what they are, dude. Whether they like it or not, Omar, that's the part that you don't want to face. But those three gentlemen, no matter what they were going to do, it's going to be a distraction. So the question is, does your talent overcome the distraction? They saw Tim Tebow and said no. And they see Colin Kaepernick and they said no. And they saw Deshaun Watson and said yeah, we're going to take the risk. Uh, a distraction all- that lasts a week. And if you're scared of the boogeyman media, okay. then you have a weak mentality that's not going to take you anywhere anyway. 
I, I know, I know, because when Tebow came over to the Jacksonville as a tight end, it wasn't a distraction at all. Years later, no, you're right. Yeah, and he wasn't a distraction with the Mets as a baseball player, and he wasn't a distraction also in the Jets. Come on, Omar. Really, dude? Really? Like, everybody said he was there in the Mets just to sell jerseys. He was taking a spot from somebody. Everybody said in Jacksonville he was taking a spot from somebody. It was only one idiot that was willing to deal with the distractions when he didn't have the talent. No one else was going to do that in the NFL. You're really and, not. And, and how do you know that Colin Kaepernick doesn't have the talent? And it's it's whether it's five years out at this point. The question Still got the is, talent. for five years, for five years, nobody Still got the talent. talent. Seen it. Five years, nobody in the NFL has thought his talent is worth the distraction. They're not going to think about it five years later. Five years later, his my, talent. My point is, go look. Go look. Okay. Answer okay. the question. Go look. Okay. okay. All right. You'll see. If no, no, I, I mean, that, that's my point. Go look. You, you can go look. You can see. Whether or not he has the talent. That's the naivete of your part there. You're just not getting the distraction part. That it's I, not I don't worth see the distraction. It. It's not worth it for them. That's the mm -hmm. thing that most NFL teams are going to say. It's not worth they the did. distraction. Okay? He's not your starter. Why am I even going to bother? Because you need more than a starter. I can tell you right now. I promise you right now. And I, I, because I've seen both quarterbacks. Colin Kaepernick's better than Jacoby Brissett. No, not even a doubt in my mind. Jacoby Brissett is the number two quarterback in the NFL and probably viewed as one of the better number two quarterbacks in the NFL. So wow. if a guy that's out there... Really? Is it, is it still, is it still that Brissett. after... Do you what? still think that? Do you still think that after what you watched last year? If, if uh, My point is, if, J if Jacoby Brissett is viewed as one of the better backup quarterbacks in the NFL, this is the view, the narrative. And I can tell you right now, I'd wager my life on it, that Colin Kaepernick is a better quarterback than Jacoby Brissett right now. Why isn't he working? Because one brings distractions, the other one doesn't. Do you want to win or do you not want to win? Because right gonna, now, once you get once you get to that guy, your season's over anyways. So it doesn't really matter. Hey, you know that's uh, you. You, you, you the season alive with Jacoby Brissett as a starting. You, you 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 think they're going to keep it alive, but they're not. Chad, Those kind of guys. Calvin Kaepernick is better than Chad Haney, who's still a backup quarterback in the NFL. I know, but Chad plays every year. He's still playing. He's still preparing for teams. And he plays a completely different quarterback position and a different offense. They, they can't even play in the same offenses. I mean, not that I'm defending Chad Henny by any stretch or whatever. I, I'm just saying there are a lot of he's both not, out he, here. He's a regular dropback passer. Whereas, Did Joe Flacco can play in the NFL still? Colin Kaepernick can play in the NFL. Joe Flacco won a championship and went and, 11 touchdowns and no interceptions. And he's toast now. That's he gets fine. in the game. He's That's toast. fine, but... But that's a guy that accomplished it. The other guy didn't. That's the difference. And he stayed in football. That's a, and he's not a distraction. Once again, you keep leaving the distraction out. All right, what are you working on in the uh, Sun Sentinel? Um, for the weekend, I'm going to have a breakdown of 10 guys who are basically um, their performance in mini camp and training camp will determine their, whether or not they make this team for a number of factors and reasons. The Lynn Bowden Juniors, the Preston Williams, the Miles Gaskins, the Sam Egwavans, the uh, Adam Shaheen, those guys who basically are uh, on the hot seat. Okay. All right. Check it out and subscribe to the Sun Sentinel. Follow them on Twitter at Omar Kelly. We, we got we got a good one on I Am Athlete that I'm sitting here cutting up film for right now. Uh you, you, you you're gonna you're gonna wanna see that one on Monday. Uh Aaron Donald. So oh, wow. All we, right. We te we tease it we're gonna tease it on I Am Athlete tonight series channel eighty two uh later tonight. I'm great the, uh, player great player and certainly not a distraction. A legend like legend yeah. Who, who's considering retiring? So he's gonna, retire. he's gonna come back. He'll hey, come. listen, from the very beginning, he said he only wanted to play eight years in the NFL. And and I can quote you, quote him, he's done everything he's wanted to do in the league. He could be he 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 might win another one, so I think he'll come back because they got a shot for one more at least. That 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 group can can challenge one more time at least before things start to get a little older for them. It, it, we'll see. All right. Follow him on Twitter, Omar Kelly.
Appreciate you as always, Omar. We'll catch up next week. Hi, right, bro. You got it. Let's take a break. We'll come back on the other side. Cameron Wolf will join us at 1230. Back with more. This is the Big O Show. This is the 